Hi, welcome back to the fourth video in this pastel painting series. In this video, we're going to paint a rapeseed field using soft pastels. I'm making a landscape drawing from the picture of a field near where I live in Crawkirk, here in the UK. The materials required for this painting will be listed in the video description below. So I've masked off my paper using masking tape and I've sketched out the image lightly on the paper. I'm starting with a light blue soft pastel for the background of the sky. Apply pastel with the side of the stick. Now I'm adding some dark blue around the edges to create atmosphere, then blending both together to make a harmonious gradient from the edge of the page. Next I'm applying medium green for the base coat of the field using the side of my pastel. Using light green pastel I'm doing little lines all the way up the edge of the field for the stalks of the rape seed, then blending up and around to create the ground. Going back in with medium green soft pastel, I'm applying more pressure to map out the shadows on the hill and in the field. I'm just marking as a placeholder the path I can see using dark brown. Now I'm going to add some clouds to the sky using a medium grey and picking out the darkest areas in the clouds. Using a dark brown, I'm also going over some of the grey to darken the clouds. You often find that the colour of the land is reflected in the clouds in some way, hence the brown. I'm applying white around the dark areas for the highlights, then gently blending with my finger to create subtle tones. I can see some clouds coming up over the hill so I'm going to go ahead and put those in too. Now I'm adding some light green to create more light tones of green to the field. Using the brown pastel I'm marking out where the bushes are going along the far side of the field. To increase the sense of contrast I'm also overlaying this with blue. Using these two dark colours it's better than using black as it will appear more natural. Finally I added some dark green on top to suggest the tops of the green foliage. I'm darkening the far side of the field using brands to suggest the dark greens and the shadows. There are some patches in the field where you can see the soil, so I'm applying ochre with brown around it to depict this. I'm continuing to add depth to the hill using brown, dark green and Prussian blue.
I'm also applying some of the Prussian blue to the edge of the field to depict the receding stems of the rape seed. I've also added some bushes at the top of the hill where the path is in brown. So now I'm ready to start adding the luminous yellow of the rapeseed to the painting. I'm starting in the distance, leaving gaps where I can see the darkest areas that I've made before. I'm using a mixture of dots and dashes to apply the yellow to the field. As I have already laid down the green, I'm careful to keep checking and cleaning off my yellow pastel to keep the yellow bright and pure. Now that I've finished applying the yellow, I'm going to start the beautiful tree just off from the centre of my picture. I'm resting on a poly pocket whilst doing this so as not to smudge my painting. Using a dark brown pastel pencil, I'm drawing in the trunk, branches and shading in the rest of the foliage. This will give me a good dark ground to work on top of and help me with applying colour values. Next I'm applying some medium brown and dark blue to the darkest areas of the foliage. This will add a great sense of contrast and shadow to in the tree. I'm applying a medium green for the green of the foliage and a light green for the highlights. Finally, I'm applying yellow to pick out some of the highlights in the foliage. To add more life to the tree trunk, I'm applying a very pale yellow to suggest the sun shining on the trunk of the tree. Then I'm applying a dark brown on the edge to surround the light and provide more definition. 
To make the yellow of the rape seeds stand out even more, I'm going to increase the shadows around the flowers using a dark green and a dark blue. Going in between the flowers like this to suggest their individuality yet plentiful nature. I'm just applying dots to do this. Now I'm going to darken stems going down the edge of the field using dark green in lines. Ensure there are gaps in between every line to create the effect of advancing and receding stems. I've applied some dots of yellow around the stems to suggest some of the small flowers at the edge of the field. This will make the effect look more natural. To add the final contrast to the stems, I'm applying dark brown. This will make the illusion of shadow and further increase the receding sense of some of the stems. I'm going over with some light green to pull out some of the stems and to keep them bright. Now I'm creating the grass before the wall using light green with dark green and blue shaded in strokes over the top of the sh to create shadow of the grass nearest the wall. To create the wall I'm using a light grey as a ground, I'm applying brown over the top for the stones in the wall and a dark grey. I lost some of the footage here so let me describe that I completed the wall using dark grey and a dark brown to particularly describe the edge and underside of the stones in the wall to create this effect. So now I'm creating the grass nearest the viewer using light green as the ground with a dark green and blue on top. I'm doing this in strokes to suggest the texture and shades in the grass. There are some long white blades of grass, so I'm depicting this using long strokes with the very corner of my white soft pastel to create long thin lines. I'm grounding these white strands with dark brown as they go back down towards the grass. I've added more browns and greens to the grass to create more variety and dark blues for shadows. Finally, I'm applying some extreme highlights of white to the field to make up 
the flowers and make them pop. Now carefully remove the masking tape. And here you have it, the completed pastel painting of a rapeseed field. Here you can see the detail and how I've left some dark blue outlines on the tree to create extra contrast and emphasis. I hope this tutorial has given you the knowledge and confidence you need to create your own rapeseed landscape pastel painting. Thank you so much for watching.